Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over the solutions to 5.3. So, uh, and this is the shortened version of 5.3. So here we go. First up, uh, we got this 20 kilogram block that's allowed to accelerate down a frictionless 15 degree ramp. Uh, the first thing we want to do is draw a force diagram. So let's do that. So uh, we think about the forces that are acting on the block. Uh, we're obviously going to have the force of gravity acting on that straight down. The block is touching the ramp, so the ramp is going to apply a normal force perpendicular to the normal or perpendicular to the surface. So that's going to be in that direction. And then that's it because uh, there's no friction and there's no like tension or anything. So that, those are the only forces. Uh, the next thing you need to do is break it, break the force of gravity into pieces. So you go opposite from the normal force. And that's going to look like that. Make sure you got an 80 degree angle there. Uh, this will get broken into this piece right here is a mg, the force of gravity, times by cosine of 15 degrees, because that right there is the same as the angle of the, of the ramp, 15 degrees. And then this one down here is mg sine because it's opposite from the 15 degrees. So the, that lower chunk. The lower chunk right here, the um, that piece is the part of gravity that pulls the block down the ramp uh, versus the mg cosine part is the part that um, like pulls it into the ramp, like keeps it touching the ramp basically. So the first thing it says is determine the x component of gravity. That's just going to be that mg um, sine 15. So it's just mg sine 15, which right m is 20 times by g, which is 9.8 on Earth, sine of 15 degrees. Uh, that's going to give you 20 times by 9.8 times by sine of 15 degrees, that's 50.7 newtons. All right, so we'll come on down here. What is the acceleration of block down the ramp? So some are forces, it's gonna, right, it's gonna accelerate in that direction down the ramp. So we sum our forces in the x direction. Um, the x component is just the mg sine 15. Now, uh, like I, I obviously could have just plugged in 50.7 right there. Um, I'm doing this because in the future, like I'm not going to ask you question B. Um, so in this case, I'll just I'll just do it this way because this is what it'll be like in the future. So uh, our mass is 20, right? We know that we have a, which is what we're solving for. And then I'll just go ahead. I know that mg sine 15 is 50.7. Just calculated that above. And so divide by the 20. Two point five. Okay, moving along. Uh, this one is actually just a kinematics question. It won't show up on the final itself, but uh, we'll just go ahead and and do it anyway. Uh, listen, how long will it take the block to slide down 30, 30 meters down the ramp? So um, we want to know t. That's what we're looking for. We know that A is 2.5. We know that uh, x is equal to 30. And we'll say that x naught is equal to 0. And we'll also assume that v naught is equal to 0 meters per second as well. So that's going to set us up for the John equation. So 30 is equal to 0 plus 0 t, 1 half, 2.5 t squared. So 30, right, because those are going to go away. 30 is equal to, that's going to be 1.125. Oh, sorry. Nope, I had that wrong. 1.25. Um, so then 
30 divided by that. Gives you 24. And then square root both sides. Square root 24. It's 4.9. Okay, um, we have an applied force of 25 newtons, pushes on this five kilogram block on a frictionless surface, the force is directed downward at an angle of 20 degrees. So first up, draw a force diagram. So we know that right, obviously there's gonna be gravity acting on this object. Actually, just hang on, I'll draw it a little bit lower. You'll see why in a second. We also have that force. Then we have the normal force. Normal force is gonna be extra big because it's gotta cancel out the downward force of gravity and this downward push as well. This downward push can be broken into a horizontal piece and a vertical piece. So the horizontal piece is gonna be the 25 cosine 20 degrees and And 25 sine 20 or 25 sine of 20 degrees, which would be the, the vertical part there. So right, if this object accelerates, or since the object is going to accelerate to the right, so we're going to sum our um, sum our horizontal forces, not our vertical forces. And so since it's accelerating, we put ma, and then we're going to look at our diagram, and we're looking for horizontal forces. Uh, the only one is the 25 cosine 20. It right, there's no other horizontal forces, there's no friction, so that's pretty much it. Um, it is a five kilogram block 25 times by the cosine of 20 degrees. There you go. There's your acceleration. Uh, when we go to find the normal force, normal force is vertical. And so we're going to sum our vertical forces. The vertical forces all have to cancel out because this block is not accelerating up or down. And so we're going to put a zero there. That's going to be normal force minus. Uh, right, normal force is up, so it's positive. We got our 25 sine 20, which is negative because it's down. We got our mg, or our force of gravity. I'll leave it as force of gravity for right now. Mg in a second. Uh, so there we go. That's our that's our equation. Now all we got to do is solve this for normal force. So we got to move the add the 25 sine 20 to the other side, as well as the force of gravity. Uh, so when I add the force of gravity to the other side, I'm going to switch it and change it into an mg. Uh, just the equation for the force of gravity. And that also gives me the 25 sine 20 is added to the other side as well, leaving the normal force on the right-hand side of the equation. Now all I need to do is go ahead and plug in the numbers. It is, again, a 5-kilogram object. Force or acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. Plus, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what 25 sine of 20 is. Looks like that's 8.6. And then I just got to put all the things together. So 5 times 9.8, 9, 6.6. That's going to give you 57.6 newtons for your answer there. All right, let's move on to the next page. 
So we have a 70 kilogram object. Let's see here. 70 kilogram object is pulled by a 400 newton force at a 30 degree angle. The force of friction is 70, 75 newtons. So let's see here. We obviously have our force of gravity acting on it. Uh, we have this 400 newton force, which is directed up and to the left here. We can do better than that. Let's okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta think. Uh, I got my seventy five Newton friction force. And I got my normal force. Normal force needs to be smaller than the force of gravity because we're lifting up on it. So that's the force diagram. Next step is to break the 400 Newton force into pieces because it's diagonal. That's a 30 degree angle. So this would be 400 cosine 30. Um, yeah, so then at this point, right, what direction is, is, it, is, is it going to accelerate, right? We can look at the diagram and say it's going to accelerate to the left. So that means we're going to sum our horizontal forces, our forces in the x direction. So we're going to put in an MA there, and that's going to be uh, forces to the right. In this case, I'm going to do the forces in the direction of the acceleration are going to be positive. So since it's going to the left, I'm going to make any forces that are to the left positive. So that's going to give me 400 cosine 30 um, is the positive force minus the force of friction because of, right, even though generally we would make forces to the right positive, because I know it's going to accelerate to the left, I'm going to make forces that are to the left positive. That way my acceleration turns out positive. So it's not necessary. You could do it the other way around. You'll just end up with a negative acceleration, which is fine. All right. Uh, we're solving for the acceleration here, so let's go ahead and start plugging in some numbers. It's a 70 kilogram object, A, 400 times by cosine of 30 is going to give you 346.4 minus the force of friction, which is 75 newtons. Sorry for Two seventy one point four divide by seventy, and you get your acceleration is all right. There you go. There's that one. All right, we got a block is being pulled up a ramp as shown. So this is an inclined plane problem. And we want to uh, draw a force diagram for this one. So here we go. Uh, first up, we got obviously the block's going to have gravity acting on it. So put that one in. Um, uh, then we have, right, we got tension that's going to be acting up the ramp. So put tension in there. Uh, we are, of course, going to have normal force perpendicular to the ramp. Length of the lines don't matter very much here. Um, we're going to assume the ramp is frictionless. So last step is to break gravity into pieces. So there we go. A 35 degree angle is right there. So this lower piece here is going to be mg sine 35. And this upper part here is going to be mg cosine 5. Okay, so what is the acceleration of the block? So if we think about the direction that the block's going to accelerate, it's going to accelerate 
the ramp. So that's in the X direction, MA. So if we look at the forces that are you know, directed up or down the ramp, we obviously have T, which is pulling it up the ramp. Uh, and we have the gravity, which is slowing it down, but only that part of gravity. So that would just be the mg sine 35 part that's resisting its acceleration, right? That's making it slow, not, not accelerate quite as fast. So then we just plug in some numbers. Um, it is a 15 kilogram block for acceleration. We know that our tension is 150, tells us that. Minus, uh, we got our mass again, 15 kilograms, we got 9.8. And now we just need to do some calculations. So we've got 15a is equal to uh, 150 minus 15 times 9.8 times by sine 35 degrees is 65.7 divided by 15. And that's going to give you 40. 4.4 is your acceleration. Look at something slightly different. It did some weird rounding there, but you're going to get the idea. Okay, so the next one says, assume that the force of friction acting on the ramp is 25 newtons. So um, basically what's going to happen now is put it in blue. So it kind of right now there's a force of friction. That's right there. So now when we do our equation, it's going to basically look the same, except that we're going to have even one more term. So let's see here. All uh, right, because we when we sum our forces, still accelerating up the ramp. So we still have an MA, still being accelerated by tension. Gravity is still trying to slow it down. However, this time we also have an ex another force that's trying to slow it down, which is the force of friction. So that's basically right. Our equation now just has kind of like that extra term right there. So we'll go ahead and plug in all our numbers again. So again, it's a still 15 kilogram object. We still are looking for the acceleration. Tension is still 150 minus 15 times 9.8 times sine 35. So. by 15. And there you go. That's it. Well, I hope this helps you finish up 5.3. Thanks for watching. Let me know, as always, let me know if you have any questions.